Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the circular functions of the special right triangles. Recall that a unit circle is a circle on a Cartesian plane or in the center of the circle is at the origin and the radius is equal to 1. Now, let us consider an angle of 30 degrees on the unit circle. If we want to determine the coordinates of the 30 degrees, then we can use the concept of the special right triangles. Let P with coordinates A, B be the point where the terminal side of 30 degrees intersects the unit circle. From P, draw an auxiliary line perpendicular to the x-axis. Label this point as Q with coordinates A, 0. We now have a right triangle P, O, Q with the right angle at Q. Since O is equal to 30 degrees, then it means that angle P is equal to 60 degrees. Now, take note of the following. The length of the segment OP is equal to 1 where OP is the hypotenuse. The length of OQ is represented by A and the length of segment PQ is represented by B. In geometry, we learned that if we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the length of the shortest side, which is B in this illustration, is one half of the length of the hypotenuse. In the triangle POQ, the hypotenuse is 1. Thus, the shortest side B is equal to 1 half of 1, which is equal to 1 half. By the Pythagorean theorem, the length of the other side A can be solved as A squared plus B squared equals 1, wherein A and B are the sides of the right triangle and 1 is the hypotenuse. Now, by substitution, since B is equal to 1 half, we're gonna have A squared plus 1 half squared is equal to 1. 1 half squared is equal to 1 fourth, then subtracting it from 1, we're gonna have A squared is equal to 3 fourths. Solving for A by getting the square root of both sides, then a is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, the length of a is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Since this side is equal to the square root of 3 over 2, which actually represents x coordinate, and this side here is equal to 1 half, which represents the y coordinate, then we can say that the coordinates of 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Since we now have determined the coordinates of the 30 degrees to be square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half, then we can now solve for the value of its circular functions. Considering x is equal to square root of 3 over 2 and y is equal to 1 half, then, sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half, cosine 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2, tangent 30 degrees is equal to 1 half over square root of 3 over 2, which will be equal to 1 over square root of 3, and by rationalization, it will be equal to the square root of 3 over 3. Cosecant 30 degrees will be equal to 1, over 1 half, which is equal to 2. Secant 30 degrees is equal to 1 over square root of 3 over 2, which will be equal to 2 square root of 3 over 2 by rationalization. And finally, cotangent 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half, which will be equal to the square root of 3. For the next angle, we now consider the 60 degrees. Just like what we did to the 30 degrees considering a right triangle here, 
wherein our theta is 60 degrees. Since this is equal to 60 degrees, then this acute angle here will be equal to 30 degrees. This triangle is still a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. For this one, thus, the side opposite the 30 degrees, which is the shortest side, will still be equal to 1 half. By Pythagorean theorem, the side opposite the 60 degrees will now become the side with measure that measures square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, from this figure, notice that this side is your 1 half, which is the x coordinate, and this side, vertical side, which will be the y coordinate, is square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, the coordinates of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Since we now have determined the coordinates of the 60 degree angle, then we can now find the values of its circular functions. Given that x is equal to 1 half and y is equal to square root of 3 over 2. For this case, sine 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. Tangent 60 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 all over 1 half, which is equal to square root of 3 when simplified. Cosecant 60 degrees is equal to 1 over square root of 3 over 2, which will be equal to 2 square root of 3 all over 2. Secant 60 degrees is equal to 1 over 1 half, which is equal to 2. And cotangent 60 degrees is equal to 1 half over square root of 3 over 2, which is equal to 1 over square root of 3 or square root of 3 over 3 when we used rationalization. Finally, for the 45 degrees, we're gonna have a 45-45-90 right triangle. In this right triangle, since the two acute angles are equal, then by theorem, it follows that the opposite sides of these two acute angles will also be equal. Therefore, A will be equal to B. Thus, using the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals 1, it will become A squared plus A squared equals 1. And that is equal to 2A squared equals 1 and A squared is equal to 1 half. Getting the square root of both sides, A is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Thus, the length of A is square root of 2 over 2. And since it is equal to B, then B is also equal to square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, the coordinates of 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Now, let us determine the values of its circular functions given that the coordinates are square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. Sine 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 45 degrees equals square root of 2 over 2. Tangent 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2. Since the numerator is equal to the denominator, then tangent 45 is equal to 1. Cosecant 45 degrees is equal to 1 over square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to square root of 2 when simplified. Secant 45 degrees is also the same. So we have 1 over square root of 2 over 2, which is also equal to square root of 2. And finally, cotangent 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2 all over square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Now, let us use these values in solving or evaluating some expressions. For the first one, we have cosine 45 plus sine 45. From what we have learned, cosine 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2. And sine 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2. By substitution, we're gonna have 
square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2. When simplified, it will be equal to 2 square root of 2 over 2 and we can actually cancel 2 over 2 which is equal to 1. Hence, the value of the expression will be equal to square root of 2. For the second one, we have sine 30 degrees plus cosine 60 degrees all over tangent 45 degrees. Earlier, we have determined that sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half, cosine 60 degrees is equal to 1 half, and tangent 45 degrees is equal to 1. Thus, by substitution, we will have 1 half plus 1 half all over 1. So, 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1, then divide it by 1, then the expression is equal to 1. Finally, for our last example, we have tangent pi over 4 plus secant pi over 3. Since the given angles are in radian measure, you can convert them into degrees. Pi over 4 is equal to 45 degrees and pi over 3 is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, tangent 45 degrees is equal to 1 and secant 60 degrees is equal to 2. Thus, by substitution, we will have 1 plus 2 which will be equal to 3. Hence, the expression has a value of 3. This is the summary diagram of all the coordinates of the special right triangles in a unit circle. Notice that the signs of the coordinates vary according to the location in quadrant of each angle. On the next video, we will be using this diagram in solving other circular functions. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will be discussing about evaluating circular functions. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.